respiratory depression causes and symptoms respiratory depression or hypoventilation refers to a slow shallow breathing rate there are many causes some of which are more serious than others the brain controls the respiratory drive therefore anything that affects the function of the central nervous system including including the brain can cause respiratory depression in mild cases the depression the person may not notice any symptoms in other cases they may have slow and shallow breathing oxygen therapy and respiration machines may help treat respir respiratory depression depending on its severity without treatment respiratory respiratory depression can cause life threatening complications and even death this video provides an overview of respiratory depression including its causes and symptoms what is respiratory depression respiratory depression happens when the lungs fail to exchange carbon dioxide and oxygen efficiently this dysfunction leads to a build up of carbon dioxide in the body which can result in health complications a common symptom of respiratory depression is taking breaths that are slower and shallower than normal in most cases breathing rates are as slow as low as 8 to 10 breaths per minute the normal breathing rate of a healthy adult is 12 to 20 breaths per minute respiratory respiratory depression can cause acid to build up in the body and lead to res respiratory acidosis a life threatening condition associated with organ failure common causes certain medications and substances can cause respiratory depression or increase a person's risk this include sedative medication narcotic pain medications and other substances that depress brain function such as alcohol and certain illegal drugs some health conditions can also cause respiratory depression common causes include overdose of an opiate or opioid such as morphine tramadol heroin or fentanyl the use of opioids or anesthetics before during or after surgery stroke that affects the lower brain stem ethanol overdose or poisoning barbiturate overdose or poisoning sedative overdose or poisoning benzodiazepine overdose or poisoning congenital central hypoventilation syndrome cchs central sleep apnea severely elevated blood ammonia which can occur in liver failure and cirrhosis a brain tumor pressing on the brain stem at the respiratory center symptoms the symptoms of respiratory depression depend on its severity in more severe cases the symptoms become more evident symptoms of respiratory depression include confusion disorientation lethargy fatigue headache dizziness nausea some people may also experience shallow slow breathing with little noticeable chest movement vomiting high or low blood pressure reduced or pinpoint pupils abnormal breath sounds such as decreased breathing sounds or a distinct whistling or crackling sound while breathing tremors apnea which refers to an abnormally long pause between breaths that precedes a deep breath resembling a sigh bluish skin especially in the toes and fingers seizures rapid heart rate if a person does not receive treatment severe respiratory depression can lead to respiratory arrest heart attack brain damage coma or death reduced heart rate anyone who suspects respiratory depression or notices several of the typical symptoms should seek medical attention 
immediately. If a person is in the company of someone with these symptoms, it is vital to keep keep them alert and moving as much as possible. Treatment Therapies and medications that doctors commonly use to treat respiratory depression include oxygen therapy, fluid therapy either intravenous or oral, continuous positive airway pressure or CPAP machines, B-level positive, positive airway pressure machines, mechanical ventilation. If overdose is the cause of respiratory, respiratory depression, detoxification will be necessary. Doctors often use medications that work against, against the effects of opioids. Prevention It is not possible to prevent all cases of respiratory depression, such as those that are due to accidents or sudden disease. However, other cases are preventable. Ways to reduce the chances of developing the condition include avoiding sedative medi medications or taking extra precautions when using them, monitoring children who are taking prescribed medications, avoiding excessive alcohol use, avoiding or taking extra precautions when using narcotic medications. Respiratory depression or hypoventilation happens when the lungs do not effectively exchange the gases, oxygen and carbon dioxide. It can lead to complications such as respiratory acidosis and without treatment it can be fatal. Causes include medical conditions that affect the brain such as a stroke and medications or recreational drugs that impair the function of the central nervous system. If a person suspects respiratory depression, they should seek emergency medical attention.